Hi all, in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about the Azure DevOps Labs.com, uh, which is basically a Azure DevOps learning uh, portal, uh, which has a lot of, uh, you can say, hands-on lab documents, a step-by-step -step detailed uh, documents on various concepts of Azure DevOps, and also on the, uh, like, you know, other tools or other uh, uh, technologies or concepts integrated with Azure DevOps. Okay, so uh, th this basically consists of a lot of uh, hands-on lab documents and this is the home page and the URL is azuredevopslabs.com and when I come here uh, on, the, on the home page, uh, we have these, uh, you know, you can say uh, a basic hands-on lab documents and uh, again like, you know, uh, let's say whether I'm a, a beginner, uh, uh, who's, who, who wants to learn Azure DevOps or I'm an experienced user, uh, this, this portal helped me. Like for a beginner, this is a very good where I can easily start learning all the basic features of Azure DevOps. And even for the experienced users, uh, if you want to learn any specific topics, right, like uh, how Ansible works along with Azure DevOps or how Terraform works with Azure DevOps, yes. Uh, the the labs, there are different labs uh, which are available on these topics. Okay, so now let's say for a beginner, uh, you know, I recommend using uh, the initial, uh, you know, the labs, uh, which is available in the first section. Uh, again, starting with the project management concept, where we have this uh, agile planning and uh, portfolio, uh, you know, a lab. Okay, so basically how the lab is structured, uh, we have the lab, uh, you know, you can say the heading and the uh, and uh, the overview of what is this lab, you know, what is it, it's going to uh, give the detailed step-by-step -step instructions. Then we have a prerequisites section where uh, basically it is more about, uh, you know, uh, to set up the DevOps, Azure DevOps environment using the Azure DevOps demo generator. So about demo generator, I have made a, you know, a separate video. Uh, and the link is uh, provided in the description. So demo generator basically helps us to quickly set up the environment like the source code, work items, build release pipelines, all the uh, data required, sample content required uh, can be easily set up using demo generator. Once the prerequisite is done, I can follow the step-by-step -step instructions here and learn the different features of Azure DevOps, like it can be working with the uh, work items, right? Uh, what are the different work item types and what are the uses of these work item types and how to create it all the, all the details are given step by step okay and even like you know uh, in the end even there are any you know if there are any reference uh, videos uh, or documents uh, that is also provided okay and even uh, you know related uh, you can say related labs or you know uh, step by step instructions are also available in the last section okay and uh, here we can uh, give our comments or ask questions and the team will uh, respond to that so this is the basic structure of azure uh, devops labs so as i said uh, for a beginner we can start with uh, the uh, planning uh, the, the azure boards features of azure devops then the version control you know features of azure devops that is uh, version controlling and uh, working with pull request then we can uh, go ahead with the uh, pipelines like how to create a, a build pipeline how to create a, a release pipeline right or how to create a pipeline uh, with a yaml right and then the package management and azure devops is a wiki feature right and how to collaborate how to write my own wiki pages which will have the project information then uh, you know like two i think three labs are there lab documents on the testing side like azure devops supports uh, test planning and management like where i can create a manual test case and execute the manual test case and even file a bug right and uh, how to use azure devops for exploratory testing without any specific test case or a step i, I want to explore the uh, you know the application uh, which is given for testing and explore the application and come up with if, if there are any issues or uh, bugs in that come up with that and how to report it back in azure devops as a bug and the interesting factor is 
uh, we have explored right like all the steps and how to convert that into a test case which is which which is which which uh, like i think which will be documented and it can be uh, you know uh, we can run these test cases again and verify whether the bugs are resolved or not okay then again uh, application insight monitoring the uh, you know the projects or the applications using insight and the last one is uh, working with the visual studio code and the github so these are the basic uh, labs and then the next section is on the featured labs like if somebody wants to learn how to uh, deploy a, a microservice or a multi container application on aks azure kubernetes service using azure devops right and there's a lab uh, detailed you know instruction is provided like again here we have a overview section and the lab scenario explaining how uh, you know what is this lab and how it is done then the uh, what is covered in this lab like you know at a high level uh, what we are going to do we are going to create a you know a container uh, registry then we are going to have a azure devops team project created using the demo generator tool with a sample.net core application and even the pipelines and then configure the application deploy it and test it there are i think a uh, no, few labs in the featured lab section okay and then we can again deep dive into more uh, azure devops concepts uh, where it involves even integrating uh, integration with other tools like how to integrate uh, with selenium right like uh, how to execute selenium test as part of my release pipeline or how to integrate with sonar cube as part of my azure devops build pipeline right uh, so again uh, if i go to this lab uh, i'll get the details like what is uh, this lab about the overview what is covered in this lab at a high level step and uh, the prerequisites and uh, you know uh, step by step in you know instructions or you can say exercise where i will as a user i will follow these steps and do like while doing these steps i will learn the concepts i learn the tool how to use it okay and you, here you, you can see like you know integration with the other uh, you know you can say uh, tools or plugins so that's also available uh, like i was explaining like you know uh, if if uh, uh, you know if i want to see uh, whether i can use azure devops for a php application right like where i want to easily uh, build and deploy a php application using azure devops if if i want to try that there is a lab here where you know uh, i can go through the instructions uh, given and use demo generator to to set, uh, to set up the environment after that i can you know uh, see what needs to be done like uh, like i will go and commit a code then the ci build will be triggered and how it is going to compile deploy i can learn the entire stuff so basically azure devops labs uh, portal uh, you know helps in you know uh, learning azure devops uh, tool uh, as a concept the features and how to use all the different uh, uh, features of azure devops and also how to use azure devops for different scenarios like as i said you know i want to use uh, sonar cube as part of my pipeline or i want to integrate with the selenium test case or i want to uh, uh you know uh, uh, compile and you know uh, deploy a python or a php application in azure devops how to do those things uh, all those uh, details are available in uh, azure devops labs.com and uh, believe me it's it's very easy to use uh, and all the steps are neatly given uh, you know and with the like you know uh, uh, like as i said with a supporting uh, tool called demo generator which will set up uh, uh, the environment ready environment for us and we can go uh, go through the steps one by one yeah in in the in the end section there are you know uh, certain devops resources like a standard azure devops document uh, and uh, a link to the microsoft learn which is again a microsoft portal for uh, you know a different learning path and modules and uh, specifically on the azure devops and link to the youtube channel for all the azure devops videos uh, from microsoft i hope uh, this video uh, will be useful for you uh, you know in finding the right uh, resources to learn azure devops thank you for watching the video